Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Yip, Game Director for Legends of Runeterra. Back at it again with an overview of our newest champion, Aphelios, the Weapon of the Faithful. Aphelios takes to the board as a Targonian Nightfall champion, guided by his sister, Alun. Complex and creative, Aphelios hits the mark for anyone looking to stay 10 steps ahead, adapting to your opponents with stellar strategic plays. With five weapons to work with, a new mechanic to introduce, and the tools to fit almost any deck, it's time to take a shot at breaking down Aphelios' gameplay. As a proud Lunari, Aphelios' playstyle revolves around his five moon weapons, each taking the form of a two-cost slow spell. Knowing which weapon to use and when will be the key to mastering Aphelios, so step one is getting familiar with each unique weapon. Looking to shoot straight right out the gate? Calibrum deals three damage to an enemy follower. Simple, but effective. Severin serves up some sustain by giving an ally bonus stats and lifesteal, perfect for countering an aggro-focused foe. Put pressure on your opponent with Gravitum, stunning an enemy unit. If that unit is a follower, they'll get stunned next round, too. Thinking of playing aggressively yourself? Infernum turns up the heat with bonus stats and overwhelm for some truly sick burns. Finally, Crescendum can call for backup, summoning a two-cost ally from your deck. If that follower has Nightfall, even better, it'll be triggered automatically. Just like the moon itself, Aphelio cycles through his weapons with a new mechanic called phasing. Playing a moon weapon doesn't just grant you the spell effects we went over. You'll also be presented with two other moon weapons. Pick the one you want in order to begin phasing it into play. However, getting weapons sent down from the moon takes some time, so you won't be able to play your new weapon right away. This is where things get a little complicated, so let's check out what this looks like in-game. Playing Aphelios under Nightfall means I get to pick a moon weapon. Let's go with Calibrum for some quick removal. Shooting an enemy follower with Calibrum means I get to phase in a new weapon. I'll go with Severum. And nothing happened. Yet. Aphelios will need to see you play two more cards to give Alun time to send the new phase weapon to your hand. And there we go. Since Aphelio saw two cards played, Severum appears in hand just as promised. Moon magic's pretty neat like that, but it does have its limits. You can only have one moon weapon in hand at a time, so if you're aiming to create a phase weapon, make sure your current weapon is one of the two cards Aphelio sees you play. Pretty simple, right? Well, you may have noticed that each weapon actually only allows you to phase two distinct weapons, so maybe not so simple, but stay with me. Mastering Aphelios means mastering Legends of Runeterra itself, understanding the state of the game and thinking two steps ahead of your opponent as you choose the right weapon and the right path for any situation. Let's not phase out of existence just yet, okay? So I think one of the first reactions you'll have um, as a player playing Aphelios is like, man, this shit is pretty complicated. And, uh, you know, the funny thing is that we went through versions that were even more complex, right? Um, where, uh, you know, one of the, I think, elegant things with weapon phasing is it, it actually limits your choices. Um, where previous versions of Aphelios were much more open-ended, where you were able to select the weapon you want at kind of any time, but still delayed. And that just creates like, a, you know, huge complicated webs of like decisions. If you see Aphelios and you're like, wow, that's, that's a lot more complicated than I would have expected. In, in, in part, my reaction is, great, that's the goal. The goal was to create something that really um, feels deep to play and um, offers you a lot of decisions. Um, and, you know, we dialed it back. <laughs> when you've played four moon weapons, Aphelios will level up, gaining quick attack and a brand new ability. At the start of each round, he'll create a moon weapon in hand if you don't have one, in addition to creating one after seeing two cards played. And if that's not enough, moon weapons now cost less to boot. Level 2 Aphelios is a one-man Lunari army with the ability to completely dominate the board with multiple low-cost, high-powered moon weapons every single round. 
To make the most of Aphelios, you'll need to pull out your star charts and plan ahead, anticipating the waxing and waning of his power spikes. Try and shine some light on your opponent's strategy, recognize their playstyle, and analyze their choices. Then, attune with a loon to ensure you've got the right moon weapons at the right time. Pick a direct counter for the moment, or switch it up and keep your opponents guessing. You can lean into Aphelios' Lunari heritage by building your deck around his Nightfall synergy. Or you can broaden your horizons by centering on the various moon weapon keywords, such as stun or even lifesteal. The sky truly is the limit. Our goal is to you know, exceed player expectations, and we think what players love about our game is champions and seeing them in a new context of a, of a CCG and seeing them expanded both in terms of you know, uh, getting a deeper understanding of what they're capable of as well as a broader understanding of their relationships. And a fellows, if successful, is just going to be one in a long line of new products and ways that we find to deliver on those new champion expectations. With the right balance of strategy and flexibility, the weapon of the faithful is yours to wield. Strike true, shoot for the moon, and we'll see you in-game.